I had worked in a technology for development B corporation before and I've always loved the idea of involving technology in development sector and hackathon usually sounds very intimidating because it assumes you have a lot of tech um, knowledge um, but this hackathon because it's hacking for humanity they said that they're not just looking for tech people they're looking for people who are have experience in working in NGOs or even just students so it seemed like it was more um, inclusive so that's why I was excited to enter into this hackathon. It was uh, really wonderful. I didn't really know what to expect when I first went into it, but um, we spent all Friday evening, all day Saturday and Sunday, and um, it was really nice to just kind of be out of the classroom and not just work on like the academic things, but actually work on a real problem that a nonprofit had, and also interacting with people with different backgrounds, different expertise. And then while we were working in our own groups, we could also, in the breaks, interact with other groups and how they were looking at these problems. So all in all, it was a really enriching experience, I would say, and a well-needed break, even though it wasn't really a break uh, from academia as well. I'm now in a WhatsApp group with the group. Uh, that um, was my group in the hackathon. And we're actually following closely all of the, like, models that we came up with and the suggestions we came up with in the hackathon. So the person who's starting this nonprofit is actually like updating us about everything he's doing and really wants to move forward with this. So I'm excited that I kind of get to see this project come into inception. And it's funny because the project is called Water Inception. <laughs> so yeah.